क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर आई हैव गिवन हियर फोर कॉम्प्लेक्स आय दिस इज ऑल्सो बेस्ड ऑन द डेल्टा वो वैल्यूज यू कैन नोटिस दीज फोर एग्जाम्पल्स ऑल ऑफ दम कंटेन सिक्स एलिगेंट्स वाटर मॉलिक्यूल्स सो ऑल ऑफ दम विल हैव द आक्टाहीड्रल जोमेट्री but the question is either you change the ligand or you change the central metal ion as the case may be delta o its magnitude will also change now here two cobalt complexes and one rhodium and another iridium now the question is arrange these in the increasing order of delta o for these four complexes you need not remember the delta o values but you should remember in what way this delta o value will change from one complex to another now look at these four complexes except the first one except the first example all other complexes bear three positive charges first one plus two all right first two complexes are complexes of cobalt but third and fourth the central metal ion differs all right we have to consider three points mainly one is for finding out the changes in delta o what are the contributors number one nature of the ligand as the ligand varies keeping the central metal ion the same if you change the ligands delta o values will change so it is obvious for each ligand there will be a different value of delta o and from this you have got what is called the spectrochemical series the strength of the ligand deciding delta o is arrived at nature of ligand number 2 second point which decides the magnitude of delta o is the charge now regarding the first point nature of the ligand we have what is called a strong field ligand and a weak field ligand and this we can have from the uh, spectrochemical series so there are ligands which will give a smaller value of delta o and the ligands giving a larger value of delta o therefore the magnitude of delta o is being decided by point number 1 the nature of ligands point number 2 for complexes having the same central metal ion find the charge the rule is the higher the charge the higher will be delta o the higher the charge higher will be delta o all right third point the position of central metal atom or ion as the case may be that is whether the central metal ion belongs to 3d or 4d or 5d transition series now i will combine all these and give the result so with the change of ligands delta o changes second point charge with the increase of charge there will be an increase in delta o third 
the central metal ion position 3d 4d 5d it has been observed if you change the central metal atom or ion from 3d to 4d roughly there is an increase of 40 to 50 percent for 4d and in the case of 5d transition element roughly 20 to 25 percent increase in the value of delta o from 4d so if you have a particular value of delta o for 3d for 4d roughly 40 to 50 percent increase from that of 3d 5d central element you will have 20 to 25 percent increase in the value of delta o compared to that in 4d now bearing all these points come to question number four i have already told you except the first one all the three bear three positive charges as the number of charges increases so does delta o so i can write COH2 2 6 times 2 plus will have a lower value of delta O because less charge less the value of delta O. All right, compare these three cobalt, rhodium, iridium. Cobalt 3D element, rhodium 4D, iridium 5D. I have already told you from 3D to 4D there is an increase in delta O. Similarly, from 4D to 5D, there is again increase in delta O. So, if I write like this, this is the increasing order of delta O in the case of these four complexes. So, you have to consider mainly three points, nature of ligand, then the position of the central element, in the complex and third one the nature of charge as the charge increases delta o increases 3d to 4d 4d to 5d in this direction again delta o increases i think you follow